Anybody here remember Saturday morning at the movies? Hey, there was a time. For 25 cents, you got in to see your favorite cowboy star in a shoot 'em up western, maybe even a serial that went on from week to week. Of course, they all showed up later on television. Who was your favorite star? Tom Mix, or Roy Rogers, or John Wayne, or Jim Arness? It just depends on how old you are. But everybody's favorite was the mask man and his faithful Indian companion. with these Western stars, chances are you expected to meet them when you moved out West. Are you silver? Well, maybe you didn't expect to be a movie star, but at least you expected to see some movies being made. But there was only one place you could do that. It was called Corriganville. How the West was won is largely a myth, but that myth was made into legend at Corriganville. Movie stuntman Ray Crash Corrigan turned his Simi Valley ranch into a Western town, and some 3,500 television shows and movies were filmed there. Unlike a lot of movie sets and uh, movie studios in Western streets, Corriganville was the biggest one. In 1953, it was considered the seventh most popular thing to see in America. Plus, they came to Corriganville and they met Crash Corrigan, my father. They were able to sit on his horse. They were able to touch his guns. And he would talk to them. They could pose for a picture and he would mail that picture to them. And for a dollar, a whole carload that could come in on a Saturday. Crash Corrigan's movie ranch brought the Bee Western to life. Instead of paying a quarter to see the Saturday matinee, for 50 cents you could drive out to Corriganville and actually see where they were made. When I was here on that first visit, I would go into sections and I'd go, oh, I know that because I saw a movie that was done there. I knew the buildings, I knew the street, I knew the rocks, I knew the lake, I knew the caves, I knew the church, I knew the houses, the corrals, I knew everything was here because I'd seen it so many times. But then Universal Studios opened with the same idea, only bigger. Or maybe we just got tired of playing cowboys and Indians. By the late 60s, the land was sold off and Dodge City became a ghost town. 